change on time and go through all those motions. You're willing to make tough decisions to achieve what you want to make. And that's what we're going to be talking about with you for the rest of the 35 minutes uh, here this morning. So what I would like you to do, though, with all these choices that we make, <laughs> sometimes you can make some dumb ones. And here's an example. choices that you make in life. And one thing that we want you to get through your head right away at the start of this morning is there's one way to help you start to make good choices in life. And it's a real simple practice. It involves two important words. One is stop and the other one is think. <laughs> Before you make a big decision in your life, there is no rush. Stop and think about what you're going to do before you do it because the reality is, is there's long-term consequences or results for the decisions that we make in life. But here's a great example of uh, some people here that are stopping and thinking and it kind of turns out pretty good for them. See, there's a good example, right? Stop and think. 
hey, listen, the deal is, you guys obviously are facing a ton of choices in life. I know, man. I face a lot of choices in my life all the time, and I definitely don't make all the right choices all the time. I won't uh, put that out in front of you guys like today that I do, but one area where for sure, man, we need to be stopping and thinking is about sex. I mean, that is a huge decision to make in life. And it's, it's a really big decision because there's long-term consequences. But think about this. Obviously, in our society today, people don't want you to stop and think about sex. All they want you to do is go have it. I mean, if you look, if you look at, you know, if you, if you watch the TV, if you're watching a sitcom, if you're going to the movies, if you're watching a commercial that's trying to get you to buy toothpaste, it doesn't matter what it is, right? They're constantly telling you, hey, man, just go have sex. Just go have sex. It's going to be great. There's not going to be any problems. Everything's peaches and cream. Don't worry about it, right? If the fire is burning, man, go for it, right? Now, listen, <laughs> there is a whole lot better way. Sex is a great thing, but, man, there is a whole lot better way to be involved in that circumstance, and it's through marriage. We really want to encourage you guys through the Seven Project to wait until you're married to have sex. Now, I realize that some of you are saying to yourselves, you know, bag that, that could never happen. It's impossible to wait to have sex until you get married. I know all my friends have had sex, I've had sex, whatever. Listen, it's possible. I know because I did wait to have sex until I was married. Now, I've made a lot of other dumb choices in my life, but in that one area, I was actually able to do the right thing. And you know what? I've never regretted it once. I was a virgin when I got married. My wife was a virgin when we got married. And man, we have never, ever regretted it. Not once. And you want to know what else? <laughs> I've had friends of mine that have come up to me, friends from college, friends that I've grown up with. They've come up and told me, people that had had a whole bunch of sex with other different people before they ever got married, they're now married. And they've come up and we've had conversations where they've said to me, you know what, that Sometimes when I'm being intimate with my spouse, I actually am not able to think about them. I'm remembering all these other people that I've slept with. Who wants that kind of trash in your marriage? Marriage is tough enough without taking that kind of baggage into it. Now, listen, also, I know that we promote birth control in our society today, but listen, there is no birth control good enough to protect you from a broken heart. It's not possible. It doesn't matter what it is, it can't protect you from a broken heart. And also, there's no birth control good enough to guarantee that you're not going to get an STD, a sexually transmitted disease. There's no birth control good enough to protect you 100% from getting pregnant. If you want to know the 100% guaranteed way the only way to make it all the way without getting any of that stuff and with making it through without a bigger broken heart is to wait till you're married to have sex. And we really, really would like to encourage you to just take the time and stop and think about that. Also, I want you to check this next clip out. Here's another example of stopping and thinking. stash and the guys got into it and in no time it was almost gone. It was like I had no choice but to join in. But look at me now. I wish I had never been there. question. Obviously, there's somebody that didn't take the time to stop and think. And, you know, it cost them big time. We've gone through a lot of stuff in this school. You guys all know the names of the students. Some of the names are on the walls. We got a picture over here on the wall that's a mural from somebody that didn't take the time to stop and think about suicide. Listen, we've gone through a lot of stuff in this school with people who are choosing not to stop and think. And I really want to encourage you, especially in the area of substance abuse, Stop and think. 
Let me give you a great example. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Ricky Williams, the NFL running back. Okay, Ricky Williams, he's an NFL.